your chicken. It was really dry. It's kind of what? honestly one of the driest chicken burgers I've ever had. She can bring the check, I'll be happy. This place is a train wreck. All right, and the coffee's complimentary, so. Oh, that's oh, wonderful. And they will bring you up a pot to your room. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Van der Rina might not treat her like a general manager, but Mandy Shaw works like one. We just have a little word down the end of the dining room together, two minutes. I want to tell Gordon if things don't change, nobody's going to be here. The Calumet will close. You strike me as the owner because you are so busy. Every time Thank I see you. you, you're running in the bell, in the lounge, in the reception. I, I hate unhappy kitchen. customers. I hate, I hate that. I, I can see how much it needs you. Mm -hmm. The two owners, do they know that you can run this place? No, we are all incompetent to them. Wow, what frustrates you most about the two sisters? Um, Vanda's a micromanager. She's very um, cynical. She doesn't even get up off her ass and help. If it's busy, she doesn't care. Well, this is what makes my house payment. I do. And Rena is a pansy. Can't stand that. What is Rena good at doing? Cry? No. Nah. Are they qualified to run this business? No, they should go out and work in the real world first. And the rest of the staff, your team that work under you, mm -hmm. there is so much bitterness that. towards the owners. Mm -hmm. Has this been building up? People are about to explode. The biggest problem at the hotel is the ownership. Who we're supposed to respect ultimately doesn't respect us, and I think that makes people um, really not want to be a part of this team. The only shining light in this building right now is you. Because if you weren't here, they would be fucked. Thank you. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Good night. I don't think Vander and Rena have a clue about how much they've really upset their staff with their absences and their high-handed behavior. I need to get the staff and the owners in one room and try to get them to communicate. OK. When was the last time all of you had a meeting? When we first purchased this place. So nine months ago. Mm-hmm. We're just so burnt out, Gordon. So are we. First of all, you guys, I think you guys need to understand that we live like among in four corner walls and we have no escape. We have we're living that, here. Nobody made you stay and live here. You know what? I think this, I think we know what the problem is. We stepped in their territory and they cannot let go of their ego. Here's the problem. If you all fucking got to work, I wouldn't be so fucking mad all the time. I know one thing that I come to work and I do my job. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> Mandy, what kind of effect does that have on the team when you can't get a word from your owners? It's really annoying. It's, um, it's passive aggressive behavior. Um, it makes people just very, un you know, they don't want to talk to you then. Fine, you don't want to talk to us, we don't want to talk to you. There's attitude. I do. But when, when we do, there's attitude. Okay, okay. And first of all, that down shit down starts eagle. with you two then. See, that's, that's fine. fine. I, no I mean, emotion. I'm just, I want so people who are, are committed. Really? Committed? Fuck you, I've been here for three and a half years. I've done everything from bartending the fucking pub to housekeeping to front desk to serving. We want to know that you're going to be here. That's the thing. No, fuck off. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. Fuck off. Committed. You stupid bitch. You just got here. I work 65 fucking hours a week, sometimes 70, and I have two fucking kids. I'm a single fucking mom. It feels like I'm in a woman's fucking prison. I'm leaving. I'm done.